this is a, this is a poem that I wrote in Dharamshala. Again, in my journey as an activist and a writer, this becomes my tribute to Dharamshala. And again, I'm sharing the story of Dharamshala, my tribute to Dharamshala here in Bombay. In rainy season, when it rains, it's not a small, simple rain. It rains for three months. It's not cats and dogs. It cats, dogs and donkeys. So much rain. Oh, barish. So this is, this is a poem called When it rains in Dharamshala. When it rains in Dharamshala, raindrops wear boxing gloves. <laughs> Thousands of them come crashing down and beat my room. Under its tin roof, my room cries from inside and wets my bed, my papers. Sometimes the clever rain comes from behind my room. The treacherous walls lift their heels and allow a small flood into my room. I sit on my island nation bed and watch my country in flood. Note on freedom. Memoirs, for, memoirs of my prison days, letters from college friends, crumbs of bread and Maggie noodles rise sprightly to the surface like a sudden recovery of a forgotten memory. Three months of torture, monsoon in the neatly leaved pines, Himalaya rinsed clean, glistens in the evening sun until the rain calms down and stops beating my room i need to console my tin roof who has been on duty from the british raj this room has sheltered many homeless people now captured by mongooses and mice lizards and spiders and partly rendered by me. <laughs> a rented room for home is a humbling existence my Kashmiri landlady, at 80, cannot return home. We often compete for beauty, Kashmir or Tibet. Every evening, I return to my rented room. But I'm not going to die this way. There has got to be some way out of here. I cannot cry like my room. I have cried enough in prisons and in small moments of despair. There has got to be some way out of here. I cannot cry. My room is wet enough. <laughs>